Good morning to all. Welcome to the ECG May DC class. Today I am going to discuss about the T wave abnormalities. So the T wave is the positive deflection seen after each QRS complex. And it represents the electrical forces generated from ventricular repolarization. So what to identify in T waves? Amplitude and morphology. The amplitude is measured in millimeters from the baseline to the peak of the T wave. And the morphology T wave morphology abnormalities could be either upright T wave, peak T wave, inverted T waves, notched T waves and biphasic T waves. So what are the characteristic features of normal T wave? The T waves are larger slightly asymmetrical waveform that follows the ST segment and peak is closer to the end than the beginning. And it is upright in all leads except in AVR and V1. The amplitude is less than 5 mm in limb leads and less than 10 mm in precardial leads. And the abnormality T waves are it peak T waves, hyperacute T waves, inverted T waves, biphasic T waves, camel hump T waves and flattened T waves. So tall, narrow, symmetrically peak T waves are characteristically seen in hyperkalemia. And broad asymmetrically peaked or hyperacute T waves are seen in the early stages of ST elevation myocardial infarction and it often precedes the appearance of ST elevation and Q waves. And inverted T waves are normally seen in children and other causes are persistent juvenile T wave pattern, myocardial ischemia and infarction, bundle branch block ventricular hypertrophy, pulmonary embolism, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and raised intracranial pressure. So inverted T waves in the right precardial leads are a normal finding in children and it represents the dominance of right ventricular forces. And persistent juvenile T waves. So T wave inversions in the right precardial leads may persist into adulthood but they are asymmetric, shallow and usually limited to leads V1 to V3 and myocardial ischemia and infarction. So T wave inversions due to myocardial infarction or ischemia occur in contiguous leads based on the anatomic location of the area of ischemia or infarction. So the leads in which the T wave inversion occurs indicate the part of the heart that is damaged. If T wave inversion is seen in lead 2, lead 3 and AVF it indicates inferior wall infarction. And if T wave inversion is seen in lead AVL, lead 1 and V5, V6, it indicates lateral wall infarction. And T wave inversion is seen in V2 to V6, it indicates anterior wall infarction because T wave inversion in V1 is a normal finding. So in this ECG, T wave inversion is seen in inferior leads like in lead 2, lead 3 and AVF, it indicates an inferior wall infarction. Here T wave inversion in the lateral leads due to ischemia in the lateral wall infarction. And T wave inversion in the anterior leads with the Q waves due to recent myocardial infarction. A left bundle branch block produces T wave inversion in the lateral leads, leads 1, AVL and V5, V6. And right bundle branch block produces T wave inversion in the right precardial leads V1 to V3. And left ventricular hypertrophy also produces T wave inversion in the lateral leads similar to left bundle branch block but here in addition left ventricular strain pattern is also seen. And right ventricular hypertrophy produces T wave inversion in the right precardial leads V1 to V3 similar to right bundle branch block. And the intracranial pressure, raised in intracranial pressure also produces T wave inversion with a bizarre morphology. And biphasic T waves. There are two main causes of biphasic T waves. One is myocardial ischemia and hypokalemia. In myocardial ischemia, biphasic T waves, the T waves go up and then down. Whereas in my hypokalemia, the T waves go down and then up. And the camel hump T waves is a term used to describe T waves that have a double peak. So there are two causes for camel hump T waves. 
one is prominent u waves fused to the end of the t wave as seen in severe hypokalemia and second is the hidden p waves embedded in the t wave as seen in sinus tachycardia and various types of heart block here you can see the hidden p waves in sinus tachycardia and hidden p waves in first degree heart block then flattened t waves flattened t waves are a non specific finding but it may represent ischemia or electrolyte abnormality like hypokalemia so dynamic t wave flattening due to anterior ischemia but the t wave returns to normal as ischemia resolves and but in hypokalemia generalized t wave flattening is associated with prominent u waves in the anterior leads thank you